Hi friends, welcome back to Dart and Flutter vocabulary series. In today's video, let's talk about libraries. This is the part one of libraries topic. So why libraries? Uh, libraries are used to modelize the code that's been reused repeatedly in different uh, at different places. So we can use libraries to write the modular code. In other words, so in Dart each app is actually a library and here we will be it so in this part one we will be talking about a couple of uh, things that we can do with the dart libraries or flutter libraries so first thing we'll be is seeing looking into it how we can use prefixes to reference the libraries second we will see how to import specific apis and the third one how we can load libraries on demand uh, on demand or like when we really need it the second part of this uh, to, uh, article will talk about the few directives or keywords that we use um, in dart libraries a few of them are part library and export directives now to demonstrate this whole uh, libraries uh, concept I have created two files uh, of or you can yeah two two files lib1 and lib2 basically these are the files you can click here and everything is in the dart uh, sorry everything is in the github uh, right here so you can go here and can check here so I can show you very quick the github so everything is in here in the dart vocab libraries folder and these are the different examples and I have provided code for everything as I discuss here. So here it, this uh, lib1 has three uh, methods and two APIs addition and subtraction as the name suggests. Um, addition is for adding two numbers and returning the result and subtraction for getting the difference between A and B. And there is another method the underscore add so anything which starts with underscore in dot is a private so it cannot be accessed outside of this uh, class or the file the lib2 has main two functions to find if a um, number passed is odd or even and there is a one more method I added as uh, same as addition to demonstrate the conflict uh, so how we handle conflicts in um, dot libraries uh, and you can see the difference between this addition and the addition of this lib1 is this and lib1 addition is just simply add two numbers while the lib2 addition actually add the number as well as add additional number two as well so now let's see how we can use prefix to refer to libraries so in library one and library two as so here what we are doing in the lib2 we are using a alias as check uh, sorry a prefix check so anything uh, any method or api we call from lib2 we will be doing check dot and the method name like here we are doing check dot is number even while in the library one we can simply use it so when the alias is not there prefix is not there we can simply call the method but if we have it we can use that to call a method or API of that library so how that help uh, and why why do we do it so actually sometimes we can use it for handling conflicts so as we just saw there are two uh, methods addition of lib1 and addition of lib2 how did they, they are very same signature so if I want to call library 2's uh, addition then I would do check dot addition so this will give me so now I run this code so my simple addition give 5 plus 2 is 7 while the addition of library 2 gives me 7 plus uh, 2 which is 9 so that's how we can use this uh, can use this prefixing library now another uh, place we can use a uh, dart um, for like importing specific apis so how we can do that using two keywords show and hide so what is show show is for if i want to make a show or make um, only one api or method visible in that library while i do not want to expose everything i just want to 
uh, expose one method say subtraction but maybe I'm not interested in sharing addition functionality so in that case I will just use show subtraction in that case I can use subtraction but addition will give me compile time error now hide is reverse so in hide if I say hide subtraction then it will hide only subtraction while my other methods are open to be used so uh, so show and hide are totally uh, their functionality is totally reverse in the show it show only that while I hide others and in hide it's hide only specific that API while it make everything else in the library visible and the now the last topic that I want to discuss in this video is deferring or delaying our loading of library sometimes we want to wait before our libraries really get loaded um, so we can use something called load library so how does it work when we need the library uh, if we want to defend we are we know we want to use it we say lib that library like we use defer as an a name for that library and we use this name dot library a load library method to load it and this is the time when it get loaded once first time here afterwards you even though you, you can call this method multiple times but actually the library is loaded only once and from there you can use it so in this uh, video we saw it like how we can uh, import it using prefix and how we can use specific importing of libraries and how we can use um, uh, the delaying of delaying loaded delayed loading of the libraries in the next uh, article and the video i will be talking about few directives and i will see you in the next video